How you doing, Jack? Number of kilo, you? Good, thanks. Good, thanks. What did you you think of Kevin last night and making his debut? I think um, very obviously, I'm really pleased for him. I think um, really significant achievement for him in his young career to to not only be part of the squad and I think to earn his first cap. So, um, and then I think for us as a club, hopefully a good reflection on what we're doing here that. Um, we've had a number of players obviously involved in the Scotland squad and then from their own respective countries and then um, again as I said to, to earn a cap is terrific for us so he was back in and trained with us this morning a quick turnaround from the game last night for him but I think you can see that very obvious um, spring in his step if you like from his involvement last night Did he get a nice warm welcome from everyone? Um, yeah I think um, I think players genuinely pleased for him um, and then once you step foot in the training pitch, um, he probably gets a bit of stick from him saying us that he's been training with better players all week. So um, yeah, I think I think that sincerity side of it, I think as a squad and as a staff, really pleased that he's had that recognition. Um, but as always in football, I think you get brought back down to earth very quickly as well when you're back in amongst your own group. How much of a lift and encouragement can that give him for the rest of the season at Hibs? Well, I think there's two different parts to I think the confidence that he should gain from being recognised that he's good enough to be involved with Steve's squad and then be, be deemed to have done well enough and he's in the group to for Steve to trust to put him on the pitch. And then second of all, there's this massive incentive about he's in the squad now to stay part of it because the next competitive fixtures obviously for, for their country are, are the Euros. And like, obviously there may be some a couple of games possibly before then, but I think he's in the squad at the moment. <laughs> If he plays well with us and scores goals with us between now and the end of the season, he gives himself a really, really good chance to be involved with a major championship, which um, which would be outstanding. Can I just ask you about uh, Scott Allen? I read your coach, you seemed like you were quite keen to keep him at Hibs. Was it just about him really wanting to play more? Well, selfishly, I would have kept him if I'd been entirely selfish about it because we're um, pretty tight in numbers as a squad as we have been all season. But he was um, persistent and he's wanted to go out. Um, it's been a challenging um, season for him with these health issues. And um, I think the next barrier to overcome or box to tick, if you like, for want of a better expression, is, is I'm going through, you know, full 90 minutes back to back and dealing with the intensity of those games. And right now, for, we, for we, we are in the top six of the Premiership, I think he was open about that, about not being in that place. So this was an opportunity for him. He felt to... Um, to get that over the remaining fixtures and as I said being unselfish about it understood where he was coming from and hopefully in the bigger picture it will allow him to um, to come back to us for, for the start of the next season and for the close season pre-season period um, in full fitness which I think would be a benefit to us and, and to Scott. The cup I was going to say this weekend but on Monday <laughs> you got the cup put back in how much extra drive has what's happened in the semi-finals over the past few years given everyone in, in what they want to do in cup competitions? I don't, uh, personally for me, I, I don't think that, that that is the driver for us. I think that we've tried to create a culture within the club since I came in about what we need to do consistently. And so one of those has been the, the position we've been in the league all season, which is we've not came out of the top four. So that's a starting point for us. And the second of all is to put ourselves in a position to win a cup, because I think that's realistic and achievable, achievable ambitions for Hibs. So to date, we've put ourselves in the position, but we've not taken that next step. Uh, and that's something that we want to, um, to try and put right. So there's, I understand what you're saying in terms of the, the, the extra motivation that may be, 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 may be there from, from falling short of that semi-final stage, not just in my time here, but obviously previous to that as well. But for us, it's about trying to win a trophy. And we think we should always have a chance of doing that as a club and we think we've built a squad and have a team that has shown that on their day they're capable of competing with every team in the country. So we go into, we've went into the League Cup and the Scottish Cup since I've been here, the two competitions have been involved in with the, the aim to win the trophy. We've came close and we've done it and we want to try and do that with this one. Thank you. Thank you, Sheila. Um, Jack, you've, saw, you've seen the form Queen of the South have been in in the Championship and won it. Tynecastle last weekend uh, just shows that despite the, the difference in links, you're going to have to be top of your game for this one. Well, I was at, I managed to get to the game on Saturday, which is unusual this season because of the, the, the scheduling, but it was an opportunity for me to um, to see them live. Um, I wasn't surprised by 
the level of performance. I think, as you mentioned, the forum in the championship in the last, I think, 12 to 13 games is very, very good. They have that balance between experienced, good professionals that have a good understanding of the game, um, with the youngsters that are obviously either on loan or trying to to prove themselves again, having been at maybe bigger clubs in the past. So they have an energy about their play and, and they come into the game obviously with that confidence in the game from recording such a result. But I'll always balance it the fact that, as I mentioned earlier, about where we've been all season as a club, the quality that we have within the squad, the steps forward those players have taken this season and national recognition, the attention some of them have received, been subject to transfer bids, etc. So we'll be respectful. We're prepared all week for the game. We've had that extra time to do so. Um, a tough match for us, but an exciting match nonetheless. I know you've had a few weeks off now. Has that time been good? Because you're just off the back of sort of a relentless fixture heading into that international break and it's going to get a bit busy as well if you do progress in the Cup. Well, it's been one of the few opportunities we've had this season um, because of the nature of the scheduling, because of the, the, the adjusted scheduling of the Betfred Cup early in the season. So we've not had really any break. This is the longest period, I think, of inactivity we've had. And we used it as well as we could in terms of having a little bit of time off and then a bit of extended period on the, the training pitch as well. So it's, um, I think it's been good for players and staff to have a, a little bit of downtime. I'm saying downtime is not a lot people can do, but just a break from seeing each other on a daily basis and, and go through a lot of the same routines. So um, I felt this week of the players, have, there's been a freshness about them, about them sorry. And um, yeah, I think it's came at a good time. You know, the, the, this stage of the season could be incredibly busy or or not so busy depending on how far we progress in the cup and, and obviously we want to be, to be as busy as possible. I know you won't want to sort of divulge your, your team too much, but as a goalkeeper perhaps a, a position you would change like you did in the League Cup. Did you try that the last time, Ben? No, was that something else? I think it was me. I think I tried it with three different <laughs> So you just you just basically take a different you take a softer approach this time. Pretty much, I've yeah. learned my life. <laughs> um, no, I think with I think with a fear he's the only one that hasn't um, rejoined us yet. So um, Alex and and Kevin were both with us this morning, but he has um, had a huge amount of travel this week. So he was travelling back from Moldova to Israel and then from Israel back to the UK. So he's not he won't be back in with us until the weekend. So we'll we'll, um, we'll assess to see how he is from all his travelling and, and he obviously played the three ninety minutes in that period as well. So he's one that we'll give consideration to in terms of. Um, the demand has been on him over the last um, fortnight period. I'm not actually a bit in the Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, Ben. Thank you. Jack, is it good that you've given yourself this cushion in third place? I'm not for a minute saying that it's obviously wrapped up. Is it good that you've got that cushion and you can sort of focus on the Scottish Cup a bit more? Um, well, I would rather, I'd rather obviously have the cushion than, than be chasing um, going into these fixtures because they are for all the teams involved in the top six, they are very tough. Um, but I think we would have always had tried to separate the two, if you like, between our league focus and what we wanted to do in the cup. Um, it is nice to have had the break before the league games and then have the cup, cup as well going into it, because I think it has given us time to to draw breath a little bit in terms of the league game spot. Um, yeah, I don't think it has too much bearing in terms of our either our, our focus or our determination to try and go as far and, and win the cup. Is that the sort of carrot for the players that, you know, third place, you obviously could finish third place, be a historic season for the for the club, but also you could cut that off with a Scottish Cup and that would be a sort of phenomenal season? Yeah, I think for I think all the players that are, um, that are at the club who were involved in 2016 and then I think you only have to look this season at St. Johnson's recent success and how their players speak about it and what it means to win a cup competition. It's a... It's a huge thing in, in MD's career. Um, if you're fortunate, you get to do it on multiple occasions or you get the opportunity to do it on multiple occasions. But the truth is, for most, the opportunities are few and far between. So we, um, we've we spoken about it a lot since pre-season period about our objectives. And one of them was to win a cup competition because we recognise that um, how big a reward that is to have in your playing career. So I think we've seen that in terms of how we've progressed in the two cup competitions. I know that we've had the soreness and disappointment at the nature of the two semi-final defeats. But in both competitions to date that I've been that I've managed the club, we've we've had a real push to win the cup. Um and this competition for us is, is the same again. It is we believe is, is a hugely realistic opportunity for us to go and win it. 
Jack, you've said um, like Kevin is but obviously joking that he's playing with a, a bunch of better players in the international setup, and um, obviously that's all all a laugh, and we're sitting comfortably, um, or hopefully with that cushion in third. Is it tough to keep the players focused for a game against a side in a lower division, or is there professionalism just uh, coming through? No, I think it, I think it comes down to um, I think the trust you have in your group, and I think we've worked hard at recruiting a group, and we've. we've refined it in terms of the numbers and we've kept that smaller, tighter group. Um, and I think for a long time now, there has been a collective push for them and, and heading in the right direction together. And the one thing that um, we have here is a real, there's a humility about the group, but equally a focus in terms of how successful they want to be this season. So I, I mentioned earlier about our record in the cup competitions, the last two cup competitions and through that League Cup campaign in particular, We've um, played a lot of lower league teams um, and faced different challenges in that respect and non from premiership teams. And in each occasion, I think we've been respectful in our preparation and, and how we've approached the game and, and as ruthless as we could be within it as well. So, I, it, you know, games, the game could be lost on Monday for a variety of reasons, but I don't think um, attitude or, or poor attitude would be anything I would ever be concerned about with the squad I have at the moment. Hi, Christian, how are you doing? Hello, how are you doing? How was the, the break for you? Was it good to have a bit of a reset? Yeah, it was nice. Um, obviously, we had, we had a lot of games recently and it was nice just to to, re, uh, to sit on the couch for a few days and not do a lot. Um, obviously, we can't do much at the moment, which is obviously frustrating, but um, to have a bit of time off just to relax was, was definitely good for the body and mind. How are you feeling personally, especially after getting that goal after a wee while without one? Yeah, I feel good. Um, I've always felt good, even when I'm not scoring, because the team's doing so well and, you know, we're in a good position in the league. So I uh, can't be too disappointed without scoring as many goals as I'd like. But also, always nice to obviously score, and it's, it was obviously a nice feeling. I uh, wanted to go straight into another game. And unfortunately, we had a bit of time off because of the international break. But, oh, well, going to have to just try and get one on Monday. Quite often you've, you've gone on wee streaks after getting that goal. Is that something you hope can happen this time around? Hope so. Um, obviously, we've got, I think it's five games left in the league and uh, hopefully we can go on a really good cup run and um, hopefully I can score some goals and, and go on that streak that I've, I've done a few times before. So, um, fingers crossed. Obviously, the, the battle for third is still ongoing, but how important is the, the cup for you this year to, to have that chance of silverware? Yeah, it's massive. Um, Every year we sit down as a team and the manager uh, tells us goals for the for the season. It's always about getting silverware. And um, obviously we, we fell short this year with the semi-final defeat, but um, we're going to try and go one better this year. Thank you. Christian, how pleased were you to see Kevin make his Scotland debut last night? Yeah, I was delighted. Um, I had the game on in the background, just waiting for him to, to get on. And I think it was in my bedroom at the time when I heard the commentator saying he was coming on. So I ran into the, to the living room to, to watch the rest of the game. And um, yeah, honestly, really, really proud of him. Um, he's done incredible this year. Obviously, signing from Dunfermline last year, he probably had dreams of representing his country. And um, to be able to do that, um, I'm sure his family are, are very proud of him. And especially the boys here, they're, they're absolutely delighted for him. Just going back to yourself, what was the manager sort of saying to you, obviously, during that run that you, that you weren't scoring? And I remember he did say that he had a conversation with you. Yeah, um, the gaffer, he speaks to us all the time. And uh, he's, a, he's a manager who likes to have one-on-one -on -one chats with the boys just to see how they're doing. And we'd always have the conversation. I'd still play majority of games from the from starting. And if I wasn't starting, I was always probably the first sub. So I knew that I was um, still contributing in the games and I was doing the jobs that he asked asked of me and he'd always say that the goals weren't that important especially when we've got um we've got players like Nizzy we've got Boyley who we find on net this year on plenty of occasions so sometimes he just um just sat me down and just said listen I'm happy with your overall performance and that's good enough for me so um that was really refreshing to hear because I'm not sure mo a lot of managers would stick with a striker if you hadn't scored in that many games just sort of lastly I know you touched on it just a bit there does that, does that result against Hearts, even though it's well, obviously a lot of times passed, does that still sting in the dressing room? Yeah, it's definitely still sore, something that um, 
it's hard to take. But um, we've moved on now. We're we're we're, we're going to try and get another cup run and got to put that one behind us and, and hopefully we can go one one step further this year.